I'm Sue Murdoch. I know I've met quite a lot of people across different regions over time, um, either in face-to-face -face ones or, or on webinars. Um, I'm the regional chair for the Yorkshire and Humber for PM Forum, and I'm the head of business development for the EMEA region for Pinsent Masons. Industry associations are also stakeholders that, again, if we have the right relationships with them, can help become raving fans of our business. And of course, the financial institutions, you know, our shareholders, other people that are invested in the business. So lots of different people that we can tap into to create raving fans who can help us with this attention management problem that we have in business right now. We can also have the location in terms of uh, place in terms of whether it's Silicon Valley or London, you know, London and New York financial services, Silicon Valley, uh, all around tech companies. Um, our practices as well, our practices are the daily operating rituals for the business, the how we run things. So this is another component of culture. And again, all of these need to be aligned. There must be no disconnect between them. Thank you for anticipating my next question, which was going to be, how do you make it genuine and how do you avoid that greenwashing? So thank you. That was um, that was really that was really helpful. Yeah. Um, I have another question that's come in um, sort of indirectly, which was um, around. OK, so where does the horsepower come in? Oh, right. OK, um, thank you for asking whoever that was. So horsepower. So um, because I'm all about how do we reinvent business, how do we reinvent culture? Um, on some of my sessions, I bring business leaders out to come and work with my horses that teach them how to uh, be a more effective leader, how to communicate more effectively and how to work in a harmonious team. Because a herd of horses operate from those principles of connection, collaboration, community that I spoke about earlier on. Uh, the horses have been on the planet for millions of years. They, they know how to lead through uncertainty. So they also help us learn the skills to lead through uncertainty, which is about attention and direction and congruence and energy. So, yeah, we create some fun experiences. They're great for reigniting teams, getting people back together, um, but also getting some significant business benefits. And we've seen teams in the past radically turn around as a result of just getting that alignment and everyone working together much more effectively. So, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it's a bit more interesting. Yeah. It's a bit more interesting than a Zoom, a Zoom delivery or a, an in-person piece. But, uh, you know, when it's right for the customer, that's uh, that's what we do. <laughs> Thank you very much, Julia. That's um, that sounds like a, a really good way to spend your time. Um, and I'm slightly jealous being stuck behind a desk all the day. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for, your, for everything today. That was excellent. As I said, everyone, the slides will be shared by PM Forum. Um, Julia's already sent or mentioned a couple of links there. So those will also be on those slides.